Hey guys, welcome to the liquid photo disintegration tutorial. Basically, what happened was Kid Nemo and Saint Wizzle were caught on an alien planet and somebody threw a bomb and blew them up. And this is what happened. Okay, so let's get into it. In this folder, I have a concrete texture, I have a lens flare, I have a water splash, and I have a cleaned out mat of Kid Nemo and Saint Whistle. We did a photo shoot a while ago with them on a green screen, as you can see. And basically what we did was we cleaned it out and created a nice clean mat around them. And we're gonna show you how to do this in a future tutorial. So let's get into it. In Photoshop, click File, New, and you're gonna create a new file. Let's call it Photo Disintegration and make sure that the web preset is selected and make sure that the size is set to 1920 by 1080 and we're going to click OK. So the next part is we're going to bring in Kid Nemo and Saint Whistle and we're just going to click and drag them into the actual file. And we're going to place them. And then we can see they're both facing the same direction, which is not what we want. So click Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, and then Saint Wizzle will be facing the right direction. Now we're going to click and drag a box around both of them. And we're going to hold Shift down and go to an edge and click and drag. And it'll scale it up uniformly and then we're gonna click apply then we'll bring them a bit closer to each other okay so now we're ready to go the next part would be to bring in our concrete texture this is just gonna be a background layer so uh, we're gonna hold shift down again and scale it up so it fills the frame and then we're gonna click place we're gonna drag this concrete texture below the other two layers in the layer panel, yeah, and then we're gonna lock it. So you just click the little lock and it's gonna lock it down so then it won't move, okay? And then what we're gonna do is bring in the water splash, all right, and we can scale it and position it however we like. We just need to look at how the water is gonna be dispersed. Basically, this is the effect. Let's start by duplicating. Um, Kidney and Saint Whistle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold control down and click on the Saint Whistle layer and the Kid Nemo layer and we're gonna right click and we're gonna say duplicate layers and we're gonna say okay and we're gonna click and drag and place these just above the water splash layer. So the copies go above the water splash layer. Alright. Then while these two layers are selected, I'm gonna right click I'm going to say create clipping mask and basically what this is going to do is it's going to make the texture of these two layers only work within the layer of this clipping mask. Okay so if we set both the layers again and say rasterize layers and that will rasterize it basically it will flatten it. Okay let's zoom in a bit. Click the clone stamp tool and you're gonna select just close as possible to the edge. And then if you hold Alt down and you click, it'll select that texture and then you release Alt and then you just click and basically what it's gonna do is gonna, it's gonna clone that same texture from there. And if we keep clicking, you can see what's gonna happen. It's just the texture that's coming out. And then we just keep Alt clicking and selecting the texture and moving it close to the outside of its edge. And that's basically all this effect really is. So we're just going to follow the water stream. So yeah, you can see the water goes that way there. So we're going to follow the way that the splash is going, the direction of the splash.
Now let's select the Saint Whistle layer. And we're gonna do the same with Saint Whistle. So we'll start off with a small brush. We'll just reduce the brush size and we're gonna just copy as close to the edge as we can. We'll alt click, select that texture and then click away from it. And we're just filling up, we're basically just coloring in these parts using the texture that we stole. Zoom in. This is basically what sells the whole effect, is that we choosing the texture as close to the edge and it gets repeated. You could have done it with repeat edge pixels also, but the results again are not so controllable. So you just alt click. Okay, so this is what we have, and this is basically the effect. Now to finish it off, you might want to drop in that lens flare. So let's drop in the lens flare, click place, okay. We're going to change the blending mode of the lens flare so that it fits in. So what we're going to do is click here on your blending mode, and click linear dodge, which is add and it'll create a nice little explosion. We can scale it up a bit. And that's what creates the whole exploding effect. It looks as if it exploded. And there we go, that's it. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use these effects. If you do, let us know in the comments. Peace.